What's your take on the Chequers deal and what would you like to see implemented instead? Well, I think the problem with the Chequers deal is that it uh, will distract, I think, when it makes contact with the uh, House of Commons in the autumn. I think that there are still very significant concerns that members of Parliament have about the continuing jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice, uh, on the impact on trade, on continued alignment for decades to come on manufactured goods uh, and agri-foods. I think, essentially, it's going to have difficulty passing not least because of the financial agreement unless we absolutely have nailed down is it, sorry is it, is, it a, is it actually brexit then really yeah. well i think it's a very neutered watered down version of brexit yeah. and it's not something that has found favor with the conservative parliamentary party uh, or the wider party membership or the public if you look at opinion polls so i think the prime minister has a very stark choice she reboots it or she scraps it and the alternative is we go back to the free trade agreement that we had ready to go, the Canada Plus Plus model, where we could have uh, agency agreements, an association agreement with the European Union, uh, where we had uh, mutual recognition of professional standards, these kind of things, outcome equivalents. What, what Chequers gives us is full harmonisation, which is not, in my opinion, Brexit. Yeah, just one more quick one, really. I mean, are you disappointed at the lack of preparation or apparent lack of preparation for a no deal? And kind of how dangerous just could that be really? Well, obviously, it's a suboptimal outcome that we would want to have a trading relationship, frictionless trade, uh, the fewest number of non-tariff barriers as possible. But it is not something that is going to be apocalyptic. It's yeah. going to be some uh, disruptive, maybe for a year, 18 months. And there has been an enormous amount of planning. There have been over 300 projects that the government has been involved with in uh, trying to scope out what would happen in the light, unlikely event, which I still think is unlikely, of a, a no deal. But at the end of the day we would revert to WTO rules yeah. uh, and we would have to accommodate the, the new circumstances but there's still six months to go at least where I think we've got the opportunity to uh, secure a deal with the European Union. Very very lastly do you think this Chequers deal will play all right on the doorstep could it be bad for the Tories at a general election do you think? I think it has the potential if it's not uh, ameliorated in some way to be as bad as the Conservative government in 92 in terms of the ERM. If people feel deceived and betrayed by the government in not delivering the Brexit that they were promised, I think they will take revenge at the ballot box and I think that has very serious consequences for the future of the Conservative Party.